Hey, it's Janet, your biochem professor, coming at you to talk about DNA sequencing. So why don't we do a couple of examples and I'll break things down for you, okay? So the first thing that we wanna know is that we have our rules here, okay? So I like to teach according to rules. I don't think a lot of people do, but for me it works and it ends up breaking it down into a process that we can uh, to follow. So the first is that we have coding, Second step is non-coding or template. Third step is our messenger RNA, okay? So the steps here, this would be step one, which is your coding, step two, your non-coding, and step three, which is your messenger RNA. Okay, so if I have a question and it says, you have a coding sequence um, of, we'll say, five prime A, T, G, C, C, G, three prime. Take that to template. Okay, you're like, well, coding here is step one, and our template is step two. So that means that we're just going to have to play one round of the matching game, okay? So I see a five, five matches with three. I see an A, we're still in DNA, so A is going to match with T. T is going to match with A, G is going to match with C, C is going to match with G, C is going to match with G, G is going to match with C, and 5 prime, okay? So what do you do if, hey, that's my dad saying hi, by the way, if um, our answers are all in 5 prime, okay? Well, for that, then we're going to have to do this flip, okay? So all we're doing, we're done with the matching game, so all we're going to do is read from the right to the left, so then that answer is going to become 5 prime, C, G, G, C, A, T, three prime. Okay. So that's where we're going to start. Okay. So if I want to be tricky, let's do something like this. Okay. So we are going to have a, we'll do coding. We're going to start this one with three prime. Now that messes everybody up. Physiologically, absolutely. It's always five to three, but the way these questions are written, Sometimes they like to mix things up, right? So they're going to mess you up. And it's not that a coding starts with a three that makes it coding. It's the relationship to the next strand, which would be the non-coding or the template, that they are anti-parallel. Oh, actually, it's right here. Anti-parallel, which just means it's like a road. So cars are going both ways, five to three, and then on the other side, three to five. Or I'm sorry, five to three, right? So it's like they're driving in England, right? Five to three and five to three. And that things are complementary. And this is also key to point out that in DNA, A always matches with T, C always matches with G. But in RNA here, the T decides to be a diva and it's too good to be an RNA. So A is going to match with U and C is going to match with G. Okay, now if we look again at our steps, notice that if it doesn't say DNA, RNA, it's going to be in DNA. Okay, so these two are going to be in DNA. But look, messenger RNA here and tRNA, which would be next, they're going to tell you that they're an RNA. Okay, so if the name itself doesn't say you're an RNA, then you're in DNA. Okay, if it says what is the complementary strand and it gives you a coding, you're just going to play the matching game. Okay, 5 to 3, 3 to 5, A to T, C to G, right, because it's still in DNA. Okay, so if we have a coding strand... And we're going to take it all the way to the protein, okay, or the amino acid. <clears throat> so 3 prime A, T, G, C, C, uh, T, C, G, A. Why not? And then this will be 5 prime, okay? So then we go from step 1, we're going to go to step 2. So I see a 5, that match, or a 3, that matches with a 5. I see an A. Remember, we're still in DNA. So that's going to match with a T. T to A, G to C, C to G, C to G, T to A, G, C, T, 3 prime. Sweet. Okay, well now we need to go to messenger RNA, okay? So that, remember, is our step three. Now, again, we are in RNA. So this means that A is going to match with U. Okay, so five matches with three. T still matches with A. A, here we're going to have that U. And then C matches with G. G matches with C. C, U, C, G, A, five prime. So then we're like, okay, well, we need to read this table. But look. First position here is five prime to three prime. 
So then you're like, dude, uh-oh, what are we gonna do? Well, this is, again, when we're going to flip the necklace, okay? So when you flip the necklace, what I mean by that is that, you know, if you put in a necklace uh, backwards, you know, you have the clasp on the left instead of the right, you just take it off and you flip it around. You're not changing the necklace, you're not changing the beads, charms, or anything. So all we're gonna do is read from the right to the left. So we are not playing the matching game. We're just going to read from the right to the left. So this is still messenger RNA, and that becomes 5 prime A, G, C, U, C, C, right? U, C, C, and then G, U, A, 3 prime. Well, then we're going to read our little table, okay? So A, G, C is A, G, uh, C. So that looks like it's serine. So we'll put ser. U, C, C. U, C, C. Oh, <laughs> look, another serine. That's kind of funny. All right, and then G, U, A. G, U, A is val. Val, okay? So that's how we would solve that one. All right, so let's try another one. And this is where we really have to start paying attention to how the question is written. Okay, so if you have a question and the question says the template sequence below codes for what amino acid? Okay, this is saying, okay, listen, we're starting at step two which is our template sequence, and we have to go to step three, which is our messenger RNA, okay? So, of course, the questions are not going to be nice, so they're going to say uh, the template sequence, okay, so we're going to say this is the template, and we're going to say the template sequence is A, T, C, G, C, C, T, C, A, three prime, Okay, so then you're like, okay, well, why can't I just read the table? Okay, two little suggestions. One, if you look at the answers, first of all, you can tell that we are in DNA still because we still have U's, okay? So remember now, to go from template, we have to go to step three, which is messenger RNA, okay? So if we see a five, that's going to match with three. A is going to match with now U. Because we are in RNA, T matches with A, C matches with uh, G, okay, and then G matches with C, uh, I'm sorry, G matches with, I'm trying to get ahead of it, G, C, C, G, G, A, G, U, 5 prime, okay. Now again, remember to read that table, we have to go 5 to 3. So we're going to flip it again, okay, so then this is going to be 5 prime U, G, A, because it's U, G, A, we're just reading from right to left. Okay, sorry, I'm trying to do this and getting messed up. All right, and then we have G, G, C, and then G, A, U, three prime. So then we'd look at that table and we'd say, okay, U, G, A codes four. U, G, A, well, that happens to be a stop. So you can tell I'm making these up on the fly, but we'll continue going. And then GGC is GGC is glycine, so G-L-Y. And then GAU is G-A-U, and that's asparagine, A-S-P. Okay, so do you see that even though the question is giving you this template sequence, we're going to actually have to make it all the way down to the messenger RNA and make sure that it's in the correct orientation and then read that chart. Okay, so these are the questions that they really like to ask you because they get you thinking. All right, so hopefully that was helpful. Um, shoot me an email if you have any questions and uh, let me know what other kind of tips I can help you guys with. All right, have a fantastic weekend. Bye-bye.